Hi guys, it's Nancy. If you caught my video, I just um, uploaded. It is using this stamp set from Kitchen Sink Stamps called Honey Bunny. And I just showed me um, opening the stamp set, how I like to condition my stamps. And then I made this very simple, cute card just using the solid layer. So I wanted to keep it very simplistic. What I wanna show you guys this time is how we can layer the bunny and the Gerber flowers. So, The instructions are included with the stamp set that show you what to line up. And I've already used layer one, so it should be ready to go. I'm gonna use the Alta New Brown inks here just to um, demonstrate the little bunny. The paper that I'm using is the Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I've already conditioned this stamp, so we're ready to go. The other layers I will have to remember to condition. In fact, I'll bring my Versamark in. All right, so this is layer one for me, which is the most solid layer. And I'm gonna put it up a little higher because there is some grass that we can use with this cute bunny. And in fact, while we're at it, there is a littler bunny that we will stamp next to him. What a great set for spring, for Easter, for babies. You know, just to tell someone you love them, or you're thinking about them, get well. I'm just gonna condition this stamp, use some Versamark and I will I should get my Misty out and do both at the same time, but we'll do that after we stamp this one out. Mini Misty, I have a piece of sticky grid in here. I will link everything that I'm using down below for you guys. And now we can stamp both second layers at the same time, plus condition them at the same time. So we have layer number two for Mama Bunny, layer number two for Baby Bunny, and in the instructions it says to line up the V between the ears. So then once you line that up, then I would line up the back side. Okay, so this is layer number two for our bunnies. Okay, I'm gonna condition them with some Versamark first because it's my first time using those layers. I'm going to go in with the next darkest brown, which is called Rocky Shore. And I cannot stress enough how much I love the Alta New ink pads because they do have um, the colors already coordinated to get, you know, the multiple layers. Now, if you don't have many colors, you can always stamp off your first layer so that it's lighter. Use it full strength for your second layer, and then for your third layer, double stamp it. So there we can see layer two. I probably could have came up a little higher on this bunny, but it's okay. We'll be all right. This takes a little practice. Once you learn how to line them up, then it's second nature. It's like riding a bike. Layer number three, layer number three. Same thing, we're gonna layer up the middle between the ears there. And then I'm gonna look at this little space between his feet and line that up. Oops, stuck to my finger. So 
layer number three, again, going to do the Versamark first just to condition them. And our third layer of ink from Altenew is called Mocha. coming together. Super cute. I love, love the, the layered look because it's so realistic. The shadows are already built into the stamp. All you have to do is line them up. Okay, now for this last layer, this is the detailed layer. Again, you want to line up the center of the ears, and you can see through this stamp, and I'm lining up the belly on the mama, mama stamp. And then for the little guy here, same thing between the ears, and there is a slight open space between his belly too. It's a small one there. All right, so before I use any black, I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown, which is called Espresso. I am going to use the Versamark again. cute they are. I think I'm going to leave it with espresso. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do any black. I could go in and do black on the face. Let me do black on the face. Just on the eyes and the nose. Just a tiny little bit of black. Stinking cute. All right. Let's see what the grass looks like because it's there. Let's use it. Okay. Let me pull in my green inks. Now for the grass, it's only a one inch um, little stamp. I'm actually going to hand stamp that so I can get all the way across. I mean, what you could do is stamp it and move your paper across if you wanted it to be perfectly straight, but I'm not going to do that. Grab my little stamping block. And then I'm going to start with the lightest green, which is called Tangled Leaf. Oops, no, I'm not. Clean that off. I'm going to start with Versamark. I'm going to start with Versamark and I'm going to stamp it off this time. Okay, now we're going in with Tangled Leaf. And I am just going to start on the edge, right under the bunnies, and stamp my way across. Layer one of the grass, very easy. Layer two. I'm gonna go in with forest glades. Again, because it's new, we're just gonna stamp off the Versamark first. Ok, 
Okay. Easy to do. And then for layer three, I have Hero Arts Forest Green. And, of course, you can always go in with these other layers. So I like using the detailed layer, which is the last layer. And go in with the lightest color. And you can randomly stamp that a little higher in some areas so that it really does look like stray grass. Because that detailed layer is just giving you some random um, grassy pieces you don't always have to like um, layer the stamps you can you know kind of play with it a little bit so that looks cute I do want to see the flowers I think we'll do the flowers in a different set we'll add a cute little sentiment to this one um, have a happy sunny bunny day Oh, wait, that's the one I used before. Hmm. Let's do a different sentiment. From somebody who loves you. That one. And hmm, I think we will just do the dark brown on that one. Espresso. Oh, that just barely fits on there. And not only am I going to do that, I'm gonna grab some Persian blue ink from Altenew and my little makeup brush and a cloud stencil. go around the outer edge just to frame it off. Look at how cute that is. So two really easy cards using this layered stamp set and it's not intimidating at all. It's so easy to do. So again, here was the first one, just using the solid layer and some bright colors. And then here is the second one using that 3D look on the bunny. And again, I can see using this for Easter. I can see using it for um, somebody who's just had a baby. I'm going to add a little bit more grass here. I'm gonna go in with the second layer. I think it needs a little bit more grass and I'm using the second color of green ink which is forest glades and I'm just going to kind of put it in where I think it needs to go there we go okay so now we've played with the bunnies let's play with the Gerber flowers look how easy that is okay so with the Gerber flowers and again I have another piece of Nina Solar White here. 
and there's one flower. It's got four layers. I'm going to start with the first layer. I already conditioned it, but we'll condition it again. And let's see. So I know I've seen Gerber flowers that are like yellow and red and um, orange. So I'm going to start with some yellows and we'll add some colors to it and see where we get. So this is fresh lemon, which is a nice bright yellow. Ooh. And I think I'm going to do like opposite corners, kind of make like a note card until I can figure out how the layers go here. Now there are no leaves or greenery, greenery in this set, so you might just have to take that out of another set. And if you have any other kitchen sink stamp sets, they'll all match, matchy, matchy nicely. Yeah, that's layer number one. Okay, number two. I'm going to go in with an orange, orange cream. Okay, so here's where the layering guide comes in handy. So, there is an indentation in the stamp and that's what they're using to line them up. Aha, I see. So I just need to figure out on here where that indentation is. Okay, I got it. Whoops. So what I'm going to do for my own future reference is I'm going to take a permanent marker. And I'm going to mark where I'm lining it up. You want to give that a second because it will stick to your stamping block. It's not a big deal. But now I know that this indentation here lines up with that indentation. Let's see how well we do here with that. This is called orange cream. And I marked it on the back of the stamp. That's a bright orange. Okay, let's see how well I do here. Oh, get your head out of the way, Nance. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now I have to figure out where that is up here. Sometimes it just takes a little trial and error with the stamps. Okay, that's layer number two. Okay, let's see how we do with layer number three.
Okay, so for this layer, this is bottom cluster that we want to line up. That's correct. I think that's correct. All right, I'm going to go in with a darker orange. This is called Autumn Blaze. And nope, I forgot to do my verse mark. Let's see. Oh, I guess I could have practiced it on here. Let's do that. That is not correct at all. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. We'll get it. We'll get it together, guys. I'm pretty sure that's it right there. Okay. your fingers yay okay so what I did here was I lined up this outer layer this outer layer that looks okay it's in the right area it's not great but it's not too awful bad so if you look at the second layer this this layer has a thicker area on the outside of the petals. The rest of it doesn't. And I think that's that's how that lines up like that. Okay. That one's, it's in the right place. It's just not lined up properly. I got to work on my alignment. That's way off. That's okay. Let's put the last layer on. Like I said, most people aren't even going to notice. Okay, and then the last one is just the center. And I think for the most part, you can eyeball where that goes. I'm going to use dark brown on that. Espresso. And once you figure out the alignment and you, um, if you're going to use a misty tool, it'll make it a lot easier. I think this one just kind of stamps down, doesn't it? There we go. All right, I'm going to try a different color combo and see if we can get better alignment here. So, actually, I'm going to search Gerber's so we can see what color combos there are. Ooh, this is so fun. They come in so many different colors. Oh, look at all these. Maybe I will do, ooh, look at the pinks. Let's do some pinks. closer your color combination is, the less it's going to be noticeable. So we're going to go back in with our layer one. I'm going to start with this light frosty pink. And just to make it easier on myself, I'm going to try to remember that I have that little triangle 
on the inside of the card there. Two, we're gonna go in with some blush, a little bit actually pink diamond. We're gonna skip the second layer. There is something on this layer two stand. All right, I think I got off. I think it's just residue from production. Pink diamond. And we're going to try to remember again to keep that triangle on the outside. Just like that. Piece of fuzz on there. The fuzz. I'm not doing a very good job at lining this one up. Thank goodness the colors are close enough that you're probably not going to notice. Boy, oh boy. You know what? I'm probably lining it up with the wrong indentation. There's two indentations on here. And you guys probably can't see anything because I'm sticking my head in the way. Oh, Nance, you goober. All right. There's another indentation. I was lining it up incorrectly. Let me mark that right here. Well, now I know. Oh, yeah. Much better once you figure out where it goes. <laughs> The one that one I can uh, take a alcohol marker rub that off of there like it never happened Ta -da! okay you probably don't want to use your alcohol markers use use some rubbing alcohol don't be like Nance lazy. I'm sometimes so lazy. Okay. All right. Now we have a little bit of a better idea. Now, how about this guy? Is this still going to go on the outer edge? Do, 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 do. I do believe that that is correct. Could be wrong. Was just wrong on the whole half of the card. All right. A little bit darker pink. Pink Alicious. And don't screw it up this time, Nance. Oh, that looks okay. It's not too hateful. Now I just gotta remember how I did it. I really think that one's all messed up and I don't know if I can save it. Um, okay, let's try this again. I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. 
That one's all wrong. We're just gonna wing it. When in doubt, just stick it down. <laughs> All right, and then for the centers on this one, because it is such a bright color, I am going to use the black. And for that, I really do just wing it. I don't really look and pay attention where that should go. would put some kind of a sentiment in the middle but I think it came out okay I just need to practice with it a little bit more the bunnies are definitely a lot easier than the flowers but those flowers are oh so pretty think of all of the color combinations you can do with them and same thing go around the edges with some blue ink just to kind of finish it off and if you have any of the other floral stamps from Kitchen Sink Stamps or any layered company, there's no rule that you have to use the same stamp company, but um, you know there are some smaller leaves that I have out of Kitchen Sink Stamps that I could definitely go in there, put some greenery in, put a nice little sentiment in there, and that is done. So really, really cute stamps. Definitely recommend checking them out. I will put the link down below for you guys of the stamp set it is again called multi-step honey bunny and i'm gonna challenge you guys if you get this stamp set or you have this stamp set i want to see what you make tag nancy stamps 15 um on my you can put it on my facebook page nancy stamps 15 or you can tag it on instagram and let's see how many bunnies we can get on Instagram and again I'll just show you guys what we made so you have this fun whimsical little stuffed bunnies kind of reminds me of peeps then we have the 3d bunnies and then we have the 3d flowers so really versatile stamp set think of all the ways you can use this for this spring tag Nancy stamps 15 I will link everything down in the description below for you here you go Nancy stamps 15 on Facebook and also Instagram thanks for watching and keep on stamping bye bye